to musicmoosh.org. That was a little ditty I just wrote about two minutes ago um, just to give you some examples of these different left hand techniques that are going to be used with these rolls to create again what you just heard in that last segment. Now I tried to use every every left hand technique those uh, the slide, I use the slide, the hammer on, I use the hammer on, the pull off, the push off, and, and the choke in that last example. So, remember the last segment I talked about the slide, remember? And you can use that slide again with any of those rolls. And I'm going to be getting into uh, using more of the slides on different rolls and different roll patterns um, as we progress along. And actually the very next song tune that I'm going to be teaching you, um, Train 45, a classic bluegrass song, I'm going to try to incorporate as many of these techniques into uh, the very next uh, tune that you're going to be learning right after we get finished with these left hand techniques. So it's important that, that you do learn all of these um, techniques, these left hand techniques now before progressing on to the next tune, a Train 45. So let's talk about the hammer-on in this segment. Now, the hammer-on, that left-hand technique, consists of hammering, they call it hammering on, because if you can watch my, I'll just give you an example. Again, I'm going to use the the middle finger of my left hand and I'm going to hammer on the uh, the fourth string just behind the second fret. So I'm going to pick that fourth string with my thumb and now I'm going to hammer that middle finger of my left hand down onto that fingerboard just behind the second fret. So just listen to that, how that sounds. And you can hear how that's giving just a, a little bit different effect to, to, that, to the sound picking that string. Now let's, let's take the slide that we learned, the 2-4 slide, just hit the one string and just listen how this sounds sliding. Again, the hammer-ons of the left hand we can use any fingers and any fret combination that we want. So let me hammer on now that same 2-4 slide. Now let me use a hammer on. Now for the hammer on I'm going to use the, uh, I'm just going to leave my index finger behind the third string fretted at the second fret and I'm going to hammer on with um, with my middle finger of my left hand. Now just listen to how this sounds. So I'm hammering on uh, just behind the fourth fret. I can also use my, my, uh, my, my ring finger of my left hand. Whatever's comfortable for you. If you've got long fingers and you want to try that hammer on with your middle finger, might be more comfortable for you if you did it with the ring finger of your left hand. Again, whatever's comfortable for you. So again, the slide, 2-4 slide, and now the hammer on from the 2-4. So again, it's a slight difference in sound from the slide from the hammer on. But it's a very uh, important left hand technique um, that you're going to be using a lot in uh, your bluegrass soloing. So I'm going to give you another lick to, uh, for you to learn uh, practicing on your hammer on. And in this example, we're going to use the forward roll. Uh, the forward roll lets you use the thumb on the fourth string the index finger of our right hand picking the middle string or the third string 
and the middle finger picking the first string. So we have this forward roll. Now we're going to add two more notes to that forward roll. Let's come up and hit our thumb on the fifth string. And then the index finger. Now let's pick the index finger with the third string. So we have this. And let's put a pinch right after that. A, a two note pinch with the fifth string and first string. So we have this. And uh, again, I'm going to be, uh, I told you about patterns, how we're going to form these patterns built from the rolls and then from these patterns creating our licks. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. So here's a pattern built off of the forward roll. And you can see that that has that forward motion. incorporate our left hand technique hammering on the uh, the fourth string with the middle finger of our left hand and still playing that um, forward roll pattern Again, just building up your speed slowly. And again, as you're hammering on that, that, that string, that fourth string, try to make that just as nice and clean sounding as you can. And again, you're always, again, striving for that timing in the right hand on all of these rolls and these patterns, these licks. So let me play that a few more times, speed it up a little bit, and you can hear how that hammer on uh, might sound in one of these licks. And you can give a different accent by just how hard you're actually hammering on that four string. of these left hand uh, techniques and we're running out of time so we're gonna we're gonna get out of here for this one everybody so practice your hammer-ons and your slides and we're gonna continue right on with the pull-off push-offs and the chokes in the next upcoming segments thanks again everybody we'll see you next time